Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. I'm making this video for my good friends at Font Lab, and I want to show you just how quick it is to get the artwork in. So, um, I we can do it in actually underneath 10 seconds. So, so here's my timer, and here's my artwork. I'm going to show you how we can get all that in there. Okay, so here we go. Ready, set, go. Okay. Oh, I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let's highlight everything. Apply. Okay, done. Okay, well, I didn't want this one, but let's delete him out. <clears throat> That's my example of the EPS. So, see, we were able, in just eight seconds, able to get all of our artwork in there. So, now I'm going to show you the different steps of how to prepare your artwork like this. So, it's just easy as just a drag in and resize, and then you're just about ready to start drawing and making your font. Okay, so step one is preparing your art. So first thing is you have to use the correct format. So if we if I go over here to import and to artwork, which is Control D on Mac, um, you can see here now the different types. So for these artwork, you have some different things. These are your basic image of types of files, and then you also have the drawings. Uh, EPS is a good one. Um, dot AI I haven't used, but EPS is good if you want to keep all the nodes and everything from your drawing program. Okay, so that's the first part of that. Get the correct uh, file format. Second part is of step one is get your files, all of your exports from your program named the same, the right name. So that means if you, these are capital letters, they all have to be capitalized. So capitalization does matter. For a period, you want to spell this out, period. And the way you know what all this stuff is, is you can go over here to the uppercase, lowercase, the looking at the basic numbers, this is what you have to name each number. Okay, this is what you have to name. Uh, okay, so actually we're going to go for that one, we're going to go to the encoding and look at Latin symbol. So in order to, if, to put your divide symbol, if you had drawn that somewhere else, then you need to write divide, and then that will allow it to put in the correct area. Okay, so that is that was step one, preparing your art. Okay, step number two. Now, this is the easy step because all we have to do, I'm going to delete this here just so we, we have a fresh one. All you have to do for step two is just drag all these on there. Okay, so now they're going to appear probably a, a um, not to quite the right size. So that leads us to step number three, which is resize. So what I do is I like to start from a some letter that's sort of standard, like maybe your I or your H for capitals. So we're going to double click in here. And for this one, what you want to have open is your transform panel and your elements panel. Okay, so double click on this. You should get a green box like this. And then we, we're going to bring this a little bit down. I'm going to use my mouse a little bit. And then we're going to drag this X to, to over there. And so now your cap height, that's sort of going to vary, but um, seven depending on the design of your font, but 700 is the default. That's sort of an average caps height. So I'm going to hold down Option and pull up this corner so that keeps him the same size and bring him up to the top of where I think he should be. So I'm going to say it's about right there, okay? So you can so on the elements panel, if this part is not showing, then you're going to click on this here to show the element properties. So if this is not showing, click that. And what that's going to do is going to tell you how much we resized it. So we resized it about uh, 332. So that's why I had the 332, and you put that in your transform panel. Okay. So now that we've put that in there, we can now highlight everything. So I click on the first one, then I hold Shift. And I click on the last one. And now if I want to not have the eye show, I'm going to hold down Command and click on this. And so now every one is going to be highlighted except for the eye. So now you can hit Apply. I like to put this in the lower, in the lower left corner a lot of times so that everything expands up that way. OK, so hit Apply. And there we go. So now all the artwork is about the, is about the right size, but you can see that some things are floating, like the R is floating up a little bit, and the W is floating up, and the X is floating up. So that's because our we we when we took the pictures, we didn't do it all the way precise, but that's okay because we can. Uh, the next step is to just adjust the placement. So step four, adjusting the placement. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to choose a couple of things that are floating a lot, like the X and the K are about flowing, and the M are flowing about the same much, and the R. So now what we do is if you want to work on all those, instead of going them each of them individually and adjusting them, we can, since these have a lot more to adjust, we can go to the tools and then to, where was I going? Actions. And I've put a shortcut here. That's my customized shortcut, um, which you can do by the commands that allows you to adjust your shortcuts. Okay, so hit the actions there. And let's say he looks like he needs to go down about a minus 60, all these guys. So what you can do is just hit the run to leave this open so that way we can adjust it a little bit later. Okay, so that's pretty good on those. So we're gonna close that. That helped out a little bit with these ones. The K is still floating a little too much, but that's okay. So now so the second part is after you've adjusted a bunch of things with the actions about where you want it to, now we go in here and we just adjust it to where we want it to be a, a little bit better, okay? And you can even drag these in if you want to adjust the side bearings while you're doing that. So now I'm hitting the, uh, the greater and the less than sign, which are over the period and the comma on your keyboard. You can hit that and then that takes you to the next one, okay? Now the C looks like his overshoots are a little bit too much because that's how it was in the original artwork, but we don't want it quite that much. So we're gonna have to maybe resize him more. So if you wanted to resize him, then we could maybe go over here and put this at 99 and 99, and then and then um, put that maybe to the center since I already centered him, and then hit apply, and then just do that until you feel good about where he is. Now, he is gonna need a weight adjustment because that's gonna take his weight down a little bit, okay? So that is about it. Now, once you've done that with all your artwork, you are ready to either have Font Lab Trace or my favorite is using the Rapid Pen Tool. So stay tuned for videos about that. This is Dave Lawrence uh, showing you how to use Font Lab 7 and how to get all your artwork imported. Stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching.